Hey guys, it's Caleb with White Metal Games. It is Friday, October 25th, 26th, something like that. And I just wanted to do a quick studio update to show you a couple of things we've been working on. Uh, this will be a several part series video where we show you the work we've been doing the last couple of days. Um, basically, we've been continuing our work on the, uh, the two armies we just sold, the 1500 point army and the 1000 point army, which are both chaos armies. Uh, one is a Thousand Suns army and one is a Noise Marines army with some uh, Nurgle cultists in it. It's kind of a, so it's kind of a mixed army. Uh, so let me show you where we are at on that. Um, we just got uh, the first batch of Thousand Suns back from the from the painters. Um, and it's a little hard to see them over here, so why don't we take these guys into the light? These just got finished up yesterday. So here we go. So pretty basic rubric marines. As we move in closer, you can see some of the detail work here. These were painted by our, our resident artist, Will Shuck. Um, Will favored a darker scheme on these guys to make them more foreboding, uh, but he went with the traditional golds and blues of Zinch. I like his use of um, metallics because it's really subtle. It's almost a non-metallic metal. They've got kind of a dusty look to them like they've been around for a while. Um, the heads on these guys are, are basic pewter rubric marine heads, but the problem is right now GW isn't selling these, so we had to really hunt on eBay to find some nice ones in good condition. Uh, and you can see the detail there on the back. It's a nice, clean color scheme. The client wanted some red bases, like a Martian red. Uh, now, it looks kind of dark here. Uh, the camera is just not really capturing the full detail of the red. Uh, but it really pops against the blue. So that's one of the things I like about the choice for the red soil. With color, you really want that, that con contrasting color to sort of make the blue seem brighter and the red seem brighter. Um, here are two of the um, marines that will be on the Zinch Rhinos. We got, he went ahead and did these, so those are ready to go. And these have a different head because we couldn't quite get enough heads for the entire set. of. He ordered like 40 marines or something. So we only had enough to do uh, like 30, but we had some of these we got from Cyborg Miniatures. And here are the some of the cultists. These are some Slaneshi cultists. They have a slight sheen to them, uh, but it's not bad. It's just a real basic sheen. We liked it because for the blacks because we kind of like this idea that they're wearing this sort of uh, nihilistic sex regalia, um, like these guys are into domination or being dominated. I'm not for sure which. Uh, but we went with a traditional pink and black for Slaanesh, which I like quite a bit. See if we can't grab another couple of guys. Here is another one. This one's got sort of a mask on them. I'm trying to find the focus plane. It's kind of dark over here. Let me see if I can't bring them up into the light and see if that helps. That's a little bit better. So here's the one. And it's got this sort of dirty look to them. He went over it with several washers to create this look like they've been living in this dust bowl for many, many years and fighting. Um, so that's the cultists. So those are 20 of those. We've got a couple of aspiring sorcerers there in the back that have to go into the assembly line. Um, so that's where we are with that. The other figures are being painted now, and as we get more, we will give you more updates. We're going to be assembling some Nurgle cultists, so that'll be in the next video. So stay tuned. Hey guys, i got a quick little insert here. These are a couple spore pods we just did that just came off the assembly line, or paint line rather. Uh, so this is a popular spore pod. It's probably my most popular spore pod. And uh, it's pretty easy to, to reverse engineer it if you know which kit I used. So I'm not going to give it away on the video, but I'm sure everyone knows. Um, anyway, um, so we mount this to 130 millimeter rack and base, and then we paint it. This was painted in a uh, desert cactus theme. And the reason for that is we use for my for the studio army, for Tyrion, is we have a desert themed predator army. So our predators... Uh, our creatures in the desert, stuff like jackals and cheetahs and uh, um, the sort of things you would see with sort of a dusty color scheme. And I've featured these in video before. These are kind of some of the jackal nids, as I like to call them, or cheetah nids, depending on what it is. So here's an example of one of the hormigons. Real simple, basic color scheme. These were done by Will Shuck, our studio artist. And uh, you should find a Facebook link to his page below. See all the little dots there. I like that. It's nice and simple. We did that with the uh, Raveners too. The Tyranid Warriors we did kind of with a uh, tiger stripe pattern. You'll see those in one of the next videos. Um, so when it's all lined up on the table, these ideally will look like giant cactuses that sort of rain down their milky occupants onto the battle. Um, we're offering those now, uh, spore pods and one squad of your choosing of 20 gaunts, either Hormigaunts or Tormigaunts, or uh, Carnifex. 
uh, all on eBay. It's $225, and that's painted, assembled, the whole nine yards. You can do 20 Gaunts, 20 Hormigaunts, or a one Carnifex of your choosing. Uh, the Carnifex can be armed any way you like from the Codex, and that's all painted, assembled, done by Will. I do the assembly, it does the painting, we put it all together, box it sends to you for free shipping, $225. Cut and easy, nice and simple. In order to do that for the GW, you'd have to buy two boxes of gaunts. You'd have a ton of gaunts left over. You'd have like, I don't know, uh, several gaunts left over, four or five. And then on top of that, you still have to buy the spore pod. You have to build that yourself or convert it yourself because GW doesn't have a kit for that. So we offer that as sort of a grouping. We're going to also do that for Space Marines with drop pods. So look for that in the near future. We'll be seeing um, like Dark Angels with drop pods or something like that. So look for that in the near future. Um, and I guess that's about it right now. So if you're interested, follow the link to the eBay listing. You know, squad in a pod, that's what we're going to call it. And uh, uh, you can even do it with like DAC effects, DAC gaunts, uh, if you want to do that. There's a small upgrade if you want to do specialty weapons like strangle webs, spike rifles. Devourers, we charge a small upgrade price for because you don't get enough in the kit to do all of them. Uh, you only get one per every four gaunts. So we have to charge a small price for the extra devourers. But we're happy to do it if you want that. It's a great option. I love them. DAC gaunts are. You know, literally uh, little shooting machines. They shoot three times a piece. So 20 of them in a pod, you get 60 shots at strength four. Um, I used them the other day and dropped a uh, dropped a, a, a dark uh, Eldar flyer like that. It just was gone. And they were a great target for their next turn so that they would distract my opponent from the rest of my army. So, you know, I drop my pod in there. I shoot my dark Eldar vehicle or whatever it is I'm targeting, drop 60 shots on them, and then I just leave them out there to die and they provide a convenient target. And if you ignore them, then they lurk, which means they can still shoot, uh, and they're still getting their 60 shots. So it's a really good investment in my mind. So it's a it's a win-win. Uh, anyway, check out the listing below and continue to look at this video for more updates. Thanks. <clears throat> All right, guys, these are a couple of Duma Malentai conversions we recently finished working on. Uh, this one we've actually seen before, uh, but originally it had these large mandible bits on the side here where these now adrenal glands are setting that I'm using to represent the brains on the Doom. Uh, it's made out of a old second edition Tyranid Hive Tyrant with an old, oh, with a new edition Hive Tyrant lower body. It's got the uh, corpse cart body wrapped around it. I mounted that up with a heat gun to make it look like he's sort of wading through a sea of bodies. And then it's got Hormigant talons and a Hive Tyrant head. Looks pretty sharp, I think. I made a variant of that. Uh, I had another body laying around. Uh, this one's a little less elaborate, he's a little simpler. I actually used the original Hive Tyrant head for this one. Gave him the Doom's normal um, sort of plate on the front. That Geiger-esque look to him. Uh, still got the adrenal glands on the side there, or the adrenal glands, the... Yeah, adrenal glands would make it look like the brains there. Same talons and everything. He's a little more sculpty, a little fewer bits. Uh, and he's uh, on this pile of uh, Tyranid, um, what do you call those things? Spore bases or something like that. Used to get them in the Gene Star set, Gene Star hives or something. Anyway, so here he sets. They look pretty similar. So I worked on a couple dooms today. And what else we got? And we also have this. Haven't sold a harpy in a while because the new harpy is kind of deluxe. It's got a special trigon tail. So I came up with this as a cheaper alternative. This won't be as much as the new one. The new ones are about 100. This will be more like 85 or something like that. So it takes a car Carnifex kit, Hive Tyrant Flyrant wings, and a lower Flyrant tail. And um, just a few Trigon bits on the, the head there. You can see the mandibles in that thing there. And uh, it's got spore bombs back here. And uh, some talons. Pretty simple. Overall conversion, effective, balanced works pretty well. It doesn't take up a lot of space on the table, and it's, you know, doesn't take up a lot of room for if you want to hide it behind a building, that's completely possible. So it's a nice, cheap, easy flyer. So look for that on eBay if you're interested in a Tyranid Harpy. And uh, that's about it for now. More updates to follow. So uh, that'll probably be the end of this video, because it's the end of the weekend, so I'll probably uh, put together a video out of this. So if you're interested in um, any conversion work or if you're looking for any models, just contact us at calebfilm.yahoo.com. I'll put a few links below.